The search continues in Maryland for an elementary school teacher who's been missing for 10 days now. Greenbelt police telling us that Miriam Toure Sila was out on a walk July 29th. She hasn't been, been heard from since. Uh, meantime, students and parents are going door to door. They're asking if anyone's seen her. Uh, one of those parents, Melinda Brown, also helped organize a rally to call attention to this case. And we're so grateful to have you here. I know you're a substitute teacher at the very same school. Uh, your son is scheduled to take a class with Miriam this fall. So do you know her personally? Um, as a substitute, I meet all pretty much all the teachers of, around the vicinity where of the classes that I'm teaching in. Yeah. And um, I, so I've met her in passing, and I'm trying to remember. I do believe that I actually sub for her class one day, one particular time. Okay. But I do know a lot of the students there that um, in the elementary lower grades. But so I did meet her um, through the process, you know, in passing and a lunch. Um, room, cafeteria, the, the teacher's lounge, things like that. She's been very sweet. Why was it important for you to become more active in the search for her? Uh, when I came across the email that announced that she was missing, um, I was very taken aback by it and I was heartbroken. And, um, you know, the, the people that were on the email stream were saying, what can we do? How can we help? Um, you know, should we, you know, per, you know, proceed with the help of the search party? What are the police doing? So there's a lot of questions, and uh, someone put out there, we need to send this to the news stations, get all their, um, you know, make this go viral as far as, um, you know, making sure we can put out as much information as possible. So I jumped in, best as I could do was to send emails to the news stations and, um, use whatever resources I had um, to in terms of communicating to others because, um, you know, I was just basically one of many hands doing work. I'm sure so it's wearying. I, I'm sure it can feel very unproductive, but you, you smiled when I first introduced you on camera. So what's keeping your optimism right now in light of the fact that we're still waiting for her to be found? What What's keeping your hope alive, so to speak? Well, um, just hoping that, you know, whatever I can do and whatever our team um, of parents can do and concerned uh, colleagues and students can do um, to put this information out there. And so I am happy that we are able to um, to announce this, that, you know, that Madam Sela, and that's what we call her, Madam Sela uh, is missing and please help find her. Mm -hmm. We want her back. My son is, you know, going to the third grade. She's the third grade, uh, one of the third grade teachers. This is their first year for rotations, and um, pretty much all the third grade students will be having her. Yeah, I'm sure. Kennedy. I'm sure at that age, what is that? Around eight years old. Uh, I would yes, think. eight, nine years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're they're probably asking, "Mommy, you know, what happened to Madam Sila?" Yeah, we, you know, we are still questioning what happened. It seems like she just vanished, mm -hmm. so we have no idea. Well, hopefully you, uh, your community and police uh, get to the bottom of this extremely soon and there's a positive end. Uh, Melinda, thank you for joining us. Thank you for putting this out there. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.